Let's start our day with some breaking news as uh, Governor, uh, Kerala Governor Arif Mohammed Khan has directed nine state university vice chancellors to appear at the Raj Bhavan for a hearing on December 12th. The governor has summoned the vice chancellors who submitted a response to the notice he issued on October. Arif Mohammed Khan has asked the vice chancellors of 11 universities to tender their resignations which have been vehemently opposed by the Kerala government. To give us more inputs on this report, here I am joined by my colleague Vivek. Uh, Vivek, uh, earlier we saw that Arif Mohammed Khan spoke to the media and he said that he won't let nepotism take seats in universities. Is this meeting in context to that reference? Over to you, Vivek. Uh, exactly. This meeting is indeed, uh, you know, uh, in connection with that particular uh, incident of nepotism. Remember, it was first the KT University Vice Chancellor M.S. Rajeshri following the Supreme Court order who had to resign. Following which, Arif Mohammed Khan has asked nine Vice Chancellors uh, to resign from their post, but uh, they were given time uh, and further, you know, now that they have, uh, you know, uh, seven of them have responded uh, to his uh, direction, following which he has asked all the nine vice chancellors to appear for a hearing on the 12th of December. Remember, this is very, very crucial because in the Kerala High Court, uh, on two occasions, uh, you know, vice chancellors has been uh, asked to resign uh, because the UGC norms as far as their, uh, you know, uh, induction is concerned was not followed, was blatantly violated. Now, this is something which is a short in arm as far as Governor Arif Mohammed Khan is concerned. He says that enough time is being given to all the nine vice chancellors who, you know, in, in the Kerala, in, in, in the universities in Kerala uh, to tender their resignation. He says that everyone out here have flouted the, uh, you know, the rules and regulations of the UGC uh, as far as their appointment is concerned. Remember, for the appointment, there has to be a search committee. A three-member committee has to be constituted, and they have to suggest a name to the governor. But in this particular case, only one person has been nominated by the government, and they have been inducted directly without the knowledge of the governor. And that is exactly what governor is objecting to, and that's the reason why he has asked their tender, tender their resignation. Now that uh, they have not resigned, he has clearly asked them to come to the Raj Bhavan for a hearing on the 12th of this month. Thank you so much, Vivek, for all those inputs on this story.